been here. I don't think we've been here before, pal. You had a grandpa named Pop, right? That's right. He's very nice. You saw my grandfather? Where did you see him? In heaven. I think the book has been powerful because of the perspective. It's coming from a child. I think people understand that the purest and best witness you're ever going to get as a kid. They're not contaminated with adult think. They don't know why things happen or how things happen, but they just say, this is what I saw. In heaven, this little girl came up to me and she wouldn't stop hugging me. What was her name? She didn't have a name. You guys didn't name her. Things like miscarriage, what we went through, is kind of a silent hurt and no one knows what to say or how to talk about it. Some people think pastors have all the answers, and this one doesn't. Many times, searching for the answer, God, where does it say in the Bible that a miscarried kid, what happens? And here's this four-year-old that comes in with this pieces like a, in a puzzle. He brought them together, and now I can see this picture much more clearly about heaven than I ever could before. It just makes sense. It's beautiful. Yeah? What color is it? It's all the colors. All the colors of the rainbow are in heaven. Except they're all more. But I never dreamed that three some odd years later, my son would meet my daughter. He would come back and, and share about her with us and my wife. I, I never even thought God would do that to heal my hurt. God only allows good things, but because there's evil in this world, bad things happen. But at the same time, God takes evil and he can turn it into good. We're in trouble here. He's much worse. Will you call some friends and pray for him? I think my favorite thing about the movie is how they portray small town life and how small town works and how everyone knows everyone's business and, and how everyone works together and sometimes against each other, but you don't get away from anybody in a small town. Reverend Burpo. Todd. Todd. Some of the hospital staff have said off the record that your son was not expected to survive. Use the word miracle. Do you believe he was in heaven? If he didn't I, I, die, uh, how could he see heaven? I don't know, but he did. The thing I'm most excited about is I think this movie is gonna force people to ask themselves a question or two. We put off some of the most important questions until we're faced with mortality. This movie, I think, is gonna cause people to ask the question, do you really believe what you say you do?